Mr. Sport Development Senator John Eno has confirmed the payment of first set of bonuses to Team Nigeria athlete to the just concluded 13 African Games in Ghana. Senator Eno gave the confirmation at a news conference in Abuja. Abuja Sport correspondent Samuel Adeleke reports. Senator Eno said the payment of the bonuses is in line with his resolve to place athletes' welfare as a priority and explain the delay in the other outstanding payments. Now let me you know, just explain this. A few days after my you know, interaction with athletes you know, in, in Accra, the first set of winning bonuses were paid. That I can, I can, I can, I can, I can share with you. Now, the subsequent ones, we also got to a point as a ministry in which we had to sit back to be able to get the entire, the, the, the overall tally, right? And this was only achieved at the end of the games. How many medals are we looking at? How many golds? How many silver? How many bronze? And since yesterday, you know, work is going on on that. You know, so the only thing that has happened is that there is some little bit of delay because of having to make sure that we get our records and get our facts get everything right. But I haven't paid the first set of people and this it gives some little bit of confidence and hope to others who haven't received their bonuses that their monies will be paid. The minister also disclosed some of the strategies adopted for the success of Nigerian athletes at the 13th African Games in Ghana, where the country won 47 gold, 33 silver, and 41 bronze medals to play second on the medals table. Part of the strategy we set to record success during the competition is the setting up of a ministerial podium performance team headed by Professor Ken Anugweje of the High Performance Center in Port Harcourt. The team was set up to handle training, local management, amongst other professional management details that leave athletes in peak form. The team went back and forth with coaches and members of the technical crew of various federations. Believe me when I state that all teams that complied with the plan came tops. This includes wrestling, boxing, athletics, and weightlifting. Attention of Team Nigeria now shifts to the 2024 Paris Olympics, where some of the country's athletes have picked qualification tickets. Samuel Adeleke, ADBN Television News.